Okay, so here's the thing. Watching movies on the BFGD is pretty cool. It's HDR 1000, it can run at any refresh rate, so no matter what frame rate your content's running at, it's perfect with no judder or anything like that, but it's got a fundamental flaw. It's only available in a mere 65 diagonal inches. So, at risk of becoming, you know, that guy, today's video is gonna be about this upgrade. We are going to be getting, oh, the best of all worlds by upgrading to a 120 inch projector screen. And at the same time, we're gonna be installing a sound system. You guys got this? Cool, that's great. With this sub, I sincerely hope we don't end up with any noise complaints. Speaking of me sitting here with, uh, you know, my legs all spread like this, our sponsor today, Mac Weldon. Mac Weldon makes terrific underwear, including their antimicrobial silver line that makes it so that even if your junk stinks, your underwear won't stink as bad. That's right, antimicrobial. So go check out Mac Weldon and use offer code TECHTIPS20 to save 20% at the link below. Face. Okay, so Riley, I don't know how you got roped into this, but uh, I don't know either. Here's the plan for today. Basically, it's twofold. We're not actually ditching the TV. We still need that 4K 120 Hertz gaming goodness. Yep. But we're gonna take this projector screen and put it in front of the TV. Because that's how projectors work. So if you want to watch, no, no, no. The projector goes way over here and it fires at it. Oh. But if you want to watch a movie, you use the projector. And if you want to play a game, the projector. Yeah! And then you got some... we're doing a 5.1.2. Yeah, 5.1.2. Is that right? Yeah. Klipsch, Dolby Atmos, blah, 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 sound setup. This, I can't believe this thing. It looks like a weapon. It's the R115SW. Uh-huh, which means? SW for subwoofer. 115 for 15 inch. The more you know. We won't even need a side table. What if you put anything on it? It's just gonna fall off from all the, the sick wubs. Do we have to unbox this? Should we call Lou or? That's only if we have too much unboxing and we're feeling sick. So I haven't had a Klipsch audio set up since my Promedia Ultra 5.1s. It's a long story, but they were given to me by a previous girlfriend and current girlfriend didn't like me hanging on to them. <laughs> now that's a speaker. This bad boy will get you at least 55 watts. This is ridiculous. Yeah, and they fit perfectly. How much is this setup they sent over? I don't actually know. <laughs> I think the two bookshelf slash monitors are like 800 bucks just for those two. Wow, this is a little bigger, eh? <laughs> That's what you, you said. You don't have the thingies. So the cool thing about Dolby Atmos is that instead of the movie studio having someone go in and manually code like, you know, the helicopter moving from here to here and what the mix is between the left and the, and the right and the rear channels and whatever else, every object that makes sound is instead just given an exact position in 3D space and then your Dolby Atmos receiver, which we already have from our last upgrade here, is going to use however many speakers you have and wherever they are to best approximate the original intent of the movie producer. So these are not as good as if we had more upper channels and more surround channels, but this already seemed pretty over the top. So here we, we can't are. really fit anything behind. Yeah. Linus, Linus, look. They you know, can... these aren't that dissimilar from yeah. an actual, like an actual Actually, weapon, like your, your Tom Fitz, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you wouldn't use it like that, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that was, you've taken, you've taken martial arts, haven't you? I had kind of imagined just like, um, like just like a rollable, kind of like a, like a vinyl blind, you know, thing. Off Amazon, hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, so then you reached out to East Porter's Audio and Video and asked them for like a $700, still tab tensioned, but like just a regular cheap screen. I was like, we don't need nothing crazy, right? And then they responded with this, a 120 inch Elune Vision 4K reference studio, tab tensioned, 
crazy screen. It's got these little metal tabs that run down the side and a big metal string, I'm assuming, and a weight on the bottom, and it keeps the screen really flat. And so in 10 years, hopefully, it still will be perfect. How is a projector screen 4K? Oh, 4K, there's the big thing. Apparently, it's just because the fibers are really fine as opposed to some projector screens, so they won't show any grid at all. It's got the finest fibers you've ever seen. Okay. You've never seen fibers this fine. I haven't seen any kind of fibers. <laughs> Danger, wow. Must read. What shape is that, Riley? That's a circle. That's a circle, but it's inside a square. We should what? do a kid's tech channel. Now that's a good idea, let's see. This bracket is called an L bracket, like the letter L. How many LMG employees does it take to mount a laser pointer? Two. <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> wow, that's gonna be really big. Yeah, and you want it bigger, hey? <laughs> yep. You're all over the place, yeah, Jake. Jake. Get, get a hold of yourself. Go drunk, you're home. Oh man, they include drywall anchors. Please, nobody, nobody install this with drywall anchors. It's only like 30 pounds. Tell me a story, Riley. Tell me a story all about how my life, life got twisted, twisted upside down. down and I'd like, like to take a minute to tell right you here. about it because it's a crazy story, so take a seat. I don't think that's how that goes. I love Aladdin. Okay. Now, my eye hook is on the wrong way here. Wow, it does not look straight at all. <laughs> really? I mean, we laser leveled it, didn't we? Yeah. Well, we're... Whoa. Hey! We don't have enough clearance, hey! Ooh, uh, yep, that, uh, uh, that camera, or the, oh. the, the Wi-Fi antenna. <laughs> it looks like a camera, all right? Just, I'm just gonna take it off for now. This is utter madness. So the projector we're using is actually a rescue from uh, a previous project where we mounted it to the front of my car. That was really, that was really weird. Anyway, uh, this is a more appropriate use for this thing. This is ViewSonic's kind of budget 4K projector because it's not really native 4K. It uses pixel shift technology and we know that it's super bright. It's 3,500 lumens. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use this puppy. And I put Noctua fans in it. Oh yeah. It was a little loud out of the box, but uh, check out this upgrade. Bam! I found the only projector mount I could get that was long enough to fit underneath that light. Okay, I'm gonna put the screen back down so we can at least kind of like sanity check the numbers before we start drilling. So I guess flip it upside down uh, first. Oh, right. Are you gonna hold it upside down? I will. Did you flip it already? Oh, nice. Uh, so if we, br oh, it's just, can you go to the left a bit? Brian would have done it like that, but like. Whoop. Wait, how are you planning to screw this in exactly? It goes through the two by four. Mm. Okay. That's straight enough, right? Oh, sure, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. For the record, I wanted to make it beefier than this. Director HDMI, speaker wiring. You making another one of your little checklists? Yeah, but this one's on cardboard. So I guess we should start with the first one, projector HDMI. I was thinking maybe we use one of those spare wires and like tape it to it and just pull that wire down. Yeah, the question is, how do we figure out which wire is which? Did Brian label them? Maybe he did. Oh yeah, they're labeled. Wow, what a champ. Oh boy, oh boy. Sands the 12 feet that are in the wall. Oh boy. Uh, can I have the uh, tape? Ooh. Not quite. That wasn't a great throw. Do you think he uh, stapled these to the wall? You have got to be kidding me. He wouldn't. He did. Brian! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we we have no we have no way of doing this, sir. This is a super long HDMI, so let's see if we're gonna have enough to go like maybe over and up or something. Why don't we start with figuring out exactly how long it needs to be? Yeah, we would need to add so much to go over there. We'd need like a second one of these cables. Okay, here, Jake, if I can make this shot through that cross beam, then we don't have to move the ladder. Oh my God. Ah! Yeah, it just pff, explodes all in my face. Great plan. What's up? Safety glass. <laughs> nope. That would be very safe. Okay, I made myself a better projectile this time. Oh. No, no, I have an idea, it's fine, hold on. And the three. Oh, the three. Did you do it? Sort of, I need a stick. A very expensive one. Hey, 10 of 10. So while Jake's getting power for the projector screen sorted out, I'm getting our universal projector mount attached to the bottom of the projector. <laughs> Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Guess the label was correct. So for our speaker runs, we're using these little aftermarket plugs called banana plugs. And there's no performance reason to do it. It's more of just a convenience thing if you ever have to unplug and replug things. All right, that goes uh, schlippity, schlippity, and on. Whoa. Uh, all right. Wow, that looks like crap. Well, yeah. Look, it's not the perfect length of wire, okay? This is actually really- It looks like it needs to go up. Not that bad though. Okay, so there, that's up a few inches. I am actually getting pretty close to being ready to call it good. Ah! So is this basically like the plan? Uh, no, they're supposed to go down in the speaker stand. Oh, all right, well that is better. <laughs> I need to do the length first though, so just leave that where it is. Okay. So all that's left then is the sub. The sub. The Wubmaster 5000. Whoop whoop. Twit twit. Whoop whoop. Whoop. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, yeah, we just need that RCA cable over here then. And power. Let me try the other line. Whoa, Ooh. that worked. <laughs> it's definitely on now. Moved some air by my leg here. <laughs> the gain is at 11, by the way. I love that it goes minimum to 11. <laughs> okay, so it's working. I feel like that scene from Mount. It's working! So what we're doing right now is we're, it's not perfect, but we're doing like a calibration. The receiver is going to listen to the speaker positions and then adjust the delays. This might be a little loud. Do you have the remote? Wow, that is so different, holy. Oh, the bass. It's a little overpowering. Yeah, it's a little much. Maybe 11 wasn't the right choice. Yeah, maybe 11 could be a... Uh... So we got the Dolby Access app loaded up. We got Atmos turned on, so you can tell from the indicator up here. We did have to make one small adjustment where we had to set our receiver to output audio only to the speakers, not to the speakers and the TV. Um, that's fine, we got that sorted out. So now... Overwatch, hey, let's watch that one. I think we should check out, uh, check out some of these demos. So what you guys are seeing right now is with filming lights still on, with them off, it's actually pretty darn impressive. And shockingly, we actually managed to get the position of the projector pretty much bang on. 
We're gonna need some light though, just so we can see what the crap we're doing. You have no idea what it took for me to make this meeting happen. So, cinematic experience. Pretty damn good. I am absolutely I blown you. away <laughs> by this projector, actually. Yeah. I mean, once we have it in a light controlled environment, that is not bad. This screen, I think, costs more than that projector. But, I mean, the screen's a big okay, part of what makes a projector sound good, right? Or, sound good? <laughs> I'm not gonna say, like, movie theater experience, but like... We're getting there. <laughs> Definitely getting there. We're close. Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be going with that. What, what is this? Are they trying to have a story in Mortal Kombat? What, what is... It's good, man. Shut up, it isn't oh, not, it is not. It is. <laughs> How do I, stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> You're so mean. Because <laughs> we're trying to see if it's good and it actually How's is. your knee, Jake? I'm <laughs> not feeling, I'm clicking so many buttons and nothing was happening. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're still gonna game on the BFGD whenever possible, but really not bad. So I guess that pretty much wraps up the movie watching experience upgrade. We satisfied? I'm pretty satisfied. This is freaking awesome. I'm like blown away. The one thing I can think of that we need to do is bring the seats up a little bit, and then we could probably be convinced to upgrade the projector at some point. You know, 8, 8K, you know, whatever. <laughs> Maybe if, if the opportunity I think the input delay on that would came be very along. good. But man, this is freaking unreal. I'm getting a little bit of DLP rainbow effect, but it's certainly I, I far really from the worst that, I've seen. Personally. Far from the worst I've seen. And these speakers are unbelievable. Yeah. You know what else is unbelievable? Skillshare. Skillshare is an online video learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, technology, and more. And their premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on must know topics so you can improve your skills and unlock new opportunities so you can do the work that you love. It's more affordable than most learning platforms out there with an annual subscription costing less than $10 a month. And the first 500 of you to sign up using our link in the video description will get the first two months for free. So go Go check it out right now. Don't wait. So thanks for watching, guys. And a massive shout out to Clips for providing these speakers and- um, East Porter's audio and video. East Porter's audio and video who hooked us up with the projector screen. This is absolutely unreal. We've already got people poking their heads in, asking us, is there gonna be like a sign up so that like we can reserve the space for movie night or fight night or whatever? So it's freaking awesome. Um, while you guys are down there in the video description, you can check out where to buy the stuff we featured, as well as our link to our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum. Whew.